I'm uh, Nevena Mileva and I'm professor at uh, Plovdiv University, Bulgaria. And uh, this is my mobile device. And I'm sure that you have to modern, smart, useful, friendly and enough small to put in your pocket. And you're sure that we are all becoming more mobile. Over half of us now spend up to half of our time in mobility. And there are indications that we would like to make more use of this time for learning purposes. Mobile devices are always available and can be used for a variety of learning functionality, providing access to content, both informal, instructional, and for communication and collaboration purposes. They can be used for formal or informal learning purposes, as well as for performance support, for delivering information and support just in time and in context. In context. Never in the history of the use of technology in education and training has there been a technology as available to citizens as mobile technology. Mobile devices are popular and well used by many people within our target groups. They are regarded as personal technologies and as such likely to encourage a positive response. With the current rate of development, mobile devices will have the capability of delivering high quality, multimedia content and affordable prices within next years. I would like to present you methodology that is appropriate and very useful for learning by mobile devices. A system that applied this methodology in a performance center content learning management system for mobile learning. In example, the mobile learning is an option to the applied performance center e-learning. Two systems for e and m learning are integrated in one environment and use one database. Let's start with performance center approach in mobile learning. And here is the presentation. Performance center learning content management system for e-learning and m-learning we call DeepCell and Mobile DeepCell or M-DeepCell. Mobile devices are always available. Never in the history of the use of technology and education and training has there been a technology as available to citizens as mobile technology. Every hour student in every course in every further and higher education institution possesses one. What is more, they use them constantly in every walk of life, except their education and training. Our experience returns strong positive results that performance center approach has been proven to be more effective than the traditional lecture practice test in training higher order skill, skills for preparing learners for self-learning, improving, adapting for changing jobs. Performance support system for educational and training purposes we call distributed internet-based performance support environment for individualized learning or DeepCell, which is a learning content management system. DeepCell is a performance support system, but for educational purposes, structured to provide online access to full range of information, guidance, advice, images, tools, software, to permit the students to perform a task. We have a system for course developing for teachers, we call this teacher area. And we have a system for students, students area, students working environment for performing the task. We have a system for learning administration, automatic test system, forum, 
and different tools for collaborations. In what does the deep cell differ from common performance support system? Performance support system is a training system oriented to professionals. In a performance support system, learners already know something about how the field works and how some of the tools might be used. Further, they are busy being <coughs> practitioners in their field. These two factors, a working knowledge of the field and business, lead them to show little interest in envisaged learning outcomes. They want just in time, just in place learning that allows them to immediately apply their knowledge and skills to their, to their professional lives. So deep cell and performance support system differs because deep cell task for performance aim preliminary specified learning outcomes. Two systems differ in target groups. What a difference between deep cell and common learning content management system. Students learn small amounts of discrete information at one time and slowly build a network of these information chunks. Deep cell is a performance based performance center system. Deep cell call calls for students to develop skills rather than build content bases. Deep cell consists of learning experiences and resources. The whole learning content presents as task for performance. Each task has task specific training, a piece of theory behind the task, reference information, books, links, additional files with information, instruction how to perform the task, and expert advice. Students perform tasks instead of listening or reading lectures and take exercise. Students have critical thinking and problem solving skills, communication skills, and know how to be a professional in their field rather than simply know about the field itself. In this light, DeepSell is an inquiry-based, constructivist learning environment. DeepSell lets students construct understandings of the field through doing and in this proce process they learn content knowledge in the service of accomplishing their task. It is learner-centered, an open learning environment, complex problems link concepts and content to real situations where the need to know is naturally generate, generated. What's the advantage in the view of learning process as a performance center? Performance center educational systems uh, will move the traditional teaching systems closely to the job. The teachers to consider the impact of teaching on results, good performance and competitiveness. Minimization of the lag between the content presentation and execution of the learned information. Next question is why we need to move from performance center educational system to mobile performance center educational system. The reason for this is to address the imbalance between the availability of mobile devices and the lack of education and training provision on them. To motivate our students new modern device that each of our students has, it is very interesting to work on it. And not the last, mobile devices are available when we need. What are the advantages for students and trainers, trainees? The advantages for trainees are derived from providing learners with a job aid in the context of their work puts training and performance support where the actual work takes place, allows new skills or knowledge to be immediately applied, enables training when it is needed, allows use of rich media when appropriate. Advantages for students. Students have more flexibility 
and choice in where and when they learn outside of the wired or unwired classroom. Students use the technology in their study that would enhance their readiness for tomorrow's workplace, where employers want graduates who know how to use technology for learning and working. Could the performance center approach help to avoid some of the disadvantages of mobile learning? The disadvantages of mobile learning are combination of technical and educational challenges. Some of these disadvantages disappear if we apply performance center approach to mobile technology enhanced learning. It means that performance center method is very appropriate for M-learning pedagogical solutions. Why? Because the performance center content is much focused using the smallest unit with a framework for students on which to build their knowledge. In a performance center approach, learners are encouraged to be active constructors of knowledge, mobile devices embedding them in a realistic context at the same time as offering access to supporting tools. Think about this, being in a train, sitting in a cafe, walking down the street is fraught with distractions. Students are in situations that place in unpredictable but important demands on their attention. This leaves the mobile learner with a highly distracted, highly fragmented experience. But when we design the learning system as a performance support system, the content is much focused, using the smallest unit with a framework for students on which to build their knowledge. And in the end of this presentation, we put the question, what are the main points for discussion? Points of discussion started with wireless M-learning performance support system as similar to traditional performance support system. The advantages to apply performance support in M-learning to create knowledge are derived from providing learners with a job paid in the context of their learning. Some of the disadvantages of M-learning disappear if we apply performance center approach to mobile technology enhanced learning. M-learning solutions integrate mobile devices with the learning to help the student to perform a task by providing information, guidance, and learning experiences when and where they are needed. And here stop the presentation and start video.